Okay. All right, I'm about to do a video on melting down the um, old candles. And this was a pretty decent size one. And it smelled real good, but you see how much is still left in here. And I'm going to melt down some more candles and just add it to it. And you get your um, you get your wicks, your wick packs from the hobby stores, the craft stores. They don't cost that much. So I'm gonna go ahead for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put I'm gonna put three wicks back in it because it's a decent sized candle. And like I said, I've got some other candles, small candles, whatever. Okay, now I think I've seen where I'm gonna put something. I'm gonna lean them up. I'm gonna lean them up for right now on the side. Cause you're gonna have to wait till they sol get solid a little bit anyway for them to actually stand in there right and you can also move them around before they get solid anyway so taking the old wicks out and putting the new ones in is the main thing you need to worry about because that's why you have to uh, whichever uh, candle holder that you're going to use that's the one you have to focus on so anyway I'm gonna pause that video and I'll come back to the next part okay my next step for right now you have to do these in layers so I'm gonna go ahead and melt three candles at one time and after that, I have two more candles unless I find some more. So, especially if you have a good scented candle, I'm not going to go berserk on trying to, um, you know, put together a special candle. I've done this before, and the smell is what you're really concerned about. And if there's some decent smells, you don't have to really worry about it. So, just whatever candles... Don't make it a, a difficult project. Just go ahead and get them together and melt them down. So I'll come back with the next step. Okay. I'm about to take these out of here. Because they've already basically melted down. I'm going to do one at a time. And just pour it in here. If it's not too hot, you can handle it with your hand. I found me another candle that I had done once before, and I just didn't have an have enough to um to consider it a decent candle. So I'm going to take um add to that one also. I need to let that melt down a little bit more. This one probably is doing the same thing. I think this one can come off. There it goes.
I'm not concerned about being cute. I'm just concerned about using up the wax. That's all I'm concerned about. Because sometimes when you have to wait and wait and wait, because the thing about this candle right here, it had a whole lot of wax left in it. So that's one reason why I'm really doing it. Because it was so much left in it that it really could have still been burning. But just because the wicks burned down a certain way, that, that's the reason why it ended up being so much in there. So I wasn't going to wait, wait, wait. And just, just went on and said, I'm going to do these candles real quick. Because sometimes you have to let it build up. Now, let me see. What else am I going to do? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put two more candles in the water. To be melting down. And those are the only two I think that I'm about to put. No, I'll tell you what. I'm going to let this candle be. That's going to be all that I put in there. Because that's still, the, that's a decent candle. Now the candle that I just found, this one right here had some already in it. So I'm going to put the rest of these in that. And then I have another candle that burnt all the way down, and it's not that much in there. See that that one burnt down a whole lot better than the than this one right here. So anyway, I'm gonna pause it, wait till this melts down, and come back. Okay, I'm gonna show you real quick. This candle is gonna end up being like this candle when you let it get um, set up and get solid. So I just wanted to explain that real quick. Um, you go ahead and you cut off the tops of the wicks so they won't be as long as this one, these right here. Because when they start setting up and getting solid, you can set the um, wicks up in them so they'll stay without, you know, they won't move. So the reason why I'm showing you this now is because when I add more wax to it, it's going to look different. So I just wanted to show you that real quick and I'll come back when I've metaled the other candle that this one right here. Okay, so basically I got the other larger candle holder that had some in the bottom. Um, I went on, see how that, that's getting hard, um, stable. So I went on and set them up and you see it's turning whitish that's letting you know that it's uh getting solid um before i i just cut it off i'm letting you know you know be careful with the heat you know turn it down to us um when it starts melting like if you have a, a larger amount of wax you might want to turn it up a little higher and then you know before it right before it starts boiling or around when it starts boiling because if you see I don't have that much water in here because when you put this I'm gonna put this back in here just to let you see how high it can come up so you don't really you don't want it coming boiling out so when you have the smaller candles it's not going to push um, the water up that high so you know just precautions heat precautions don't have the eye turned up too too high you know maybe um, I did let it sit on a medium low and then in some cases you might even just be able to leave it on low but I turned it up towards high because I had a lot more in this candle right here this candle holder right here so as you can see like I said this is a candle that I've done before that I had forgot all about um, and so I went on and added more to this one and like I said if you have decent good smelling strong smelling candles um, you're not going to really have a problem with smell. I mean, maybe you might have two scents that might mix together that might not be cute or whatever or good smelling. But for the most part, they're going to smell good. So it's just about using up your old candle wax. Um, as you can see, this is basically um, almost like, like a half candle. So that's a decent amount. This one also 
was a decent amount. So like I said, you know, just using um, your older candles that burnt down a certain way. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have moved that. But oh well, it's okay. So anyway, that's the end of the video. Um, like I said, cut the wicks down a little bit. Um, I'll show you about right here. Just cut it down to about right there. Cut that much off on on each one. And it'll be fine. Or when you burn them, you might even have to cut them down um, to about right here when you actually burn them. So anyway, that's how you, you get rid of um, using using your old wax that didn't for some reason burn out the way the wicks burnt down. Alrighty, that's the end of the video.